my friends welcome back to my channel today we're going to be decorating our downstairs living room tree I'm super excited to do this and I've been waiting for a while so I could film this so you could get some inspiration and I'm just showing a quick shot of the room where we decorated the mantle and then the bookshelves and then the space where I'm going to be putting the tree is just off to the side of this room um, this is where we generally put it every year just because there is some open space here and there's an outlet um, which is great to plug in the tree so let's get started so the tree that I'm using I actually purchased this at Walmart probably four or five years ago and it is a flocked Christmas tree and I did get this at the end of the season so it was reduced to $50 and I think normally it was around $150 so I thought that was a great purchase because it is around six and a half feet tall I believe I really like this tree because it does come um, in three parts and it's clearly labeled so you know which part is the bottom, the middle, and the top and it just makes it really easy for me to put up myself. And as you can see on the ground, I just keep this in a Christmas tree bag and I just find it's a lot easier than trying to cram it back in the box that it does come in. So once I put the tree together, I did plug it in. I just wanted to make sure all the lights worked um, because I know there's nothing worse than adding all your ornaments and then finding out after that you need to string some lights on your tree because they have some burnt out ones. So once I knew that everything was working, I started going in and just fluffing up the tree. So for the base of this tree, I was originally thinking I would use a large basket, but I just couldn't find anything big enough because the stand is so large on this. So I thought it would be really pretty just to use one of the blankets I had on hand and just make my own custom tree skirt. And I think it just really invokes that winter wonderland theme. So the first thing I like to add to my trees when I decorate them is any kind of mesh or ribbon. And I found this mesh at Michael's this year and it was buy one get one free. And what I really loved about this was the color. It is a really soft silver and then it also has some white in it. And that was just kind of the winter wonderland theme I was going for. So when I found it, I did purchase two packs because I knew I would need at least two for the size of this tree. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, put it in three sections in the tree and I'm just going to start towards the back and then just bring it all the way to the other side. And because this rests against the staircase, I don't have to decorate the back side all the way. I do add some ornaments um, just because when you are coming down the stairs or up the stairs, you can see a portion of the tree. But I didn't want to bring the ribbon all the way to the back. And because I only had so much of it, I just tried to keep it um, toward the front and the sides. If you've been watching any of my Christmas videos this season, um, you would know that I am sticking with that neutral glam rustic look. So I wanted to continue that throughout this tree um, that I started on the mantle and the bookshelves and I just thought this ribbon was a perfect touch. So my sister actually was shopping at Costco a few weeks ago and she seen this silver ribbon um, by the brand Kirkland and she said it was a great price and she just knew it would go with my theme. So she actually picked me up a roll which was so sweet of her and I also wanted to incorporate this into the tree. It is kind of hard to see um, just because the tree is flocked but it does add such a beautiful touch and when all the lights are dimmed, it has such a nice shimmer to it. So I'm just putting it in the layers where I didn't add the mesh um, just to add some more dimension and just a bit more shimmer and glam to this tree. These ornaments were actually a purchase this year from Winners, and I thought they were so beautiful and they were four for $9.99 so I thought that was a really good price because they are quite large and they just had so much glitter on them so I really loved these and I think they just add that perfect touch to the tree just some more of that glam and again Winners does have a lot of really unique Christmas balls and you can find them for great prices so I was really happy with this purchase. 
generally when I am putting ornaments on the tree, I always start with those really special ornaments or the larger ornaments because I want those to really stand out. And then I go in with the more generic ones um, once I've placed all those special ones. So these were also a purchase this year. These were from Canadian Tire and I just loved how big these were and just that white sparkle that they bring to the space. So I did get three of these just because they are so large. Um, I knew if I got too many of them, they would just take up a little bit too much space in the tree, but I really loved how these looked. These big white wood ornaments um, were also from Canadian Tire and I believe they were around $2 each and I thought these just added that nice rustic touch because they are wood, they're not as glam and they also just have um, twine as a hanger. So I really like these and again they are so large so I just got three of them. I think these ornaments from Michaels were my favorite. These were a find from this year and they are double sided and I ended up getting four and I just love that wood bead on them and I think they just really tie in that rustic look that I was going for. When I seen these little banners that just say fa la 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 la, I had to have these. Um, I thought they would just look really beautiful on the tree. And they do kind of blend into the tree, but in person you can really see the letters and the words that they spell out. And they were super inexpensive. I ended up putting two on the tree and I believe they were around $3 each. I am going in with some of these Dollar Tree picks. I picked up more this year. I actually got all the last ones from Dollar Tree. I think they only had about 10 or 12 that I could find this year. Um, either someone bought the other ones or they just didn't get as many in this year. But for $1.25, I just think these picks are so beautiful and I just love to layer these throughout the tree. And I think they just add a lot of dimension and they just really fill in spaces that might be looking a little bit sparse. These are just some more ornaments that I really love. These deer, some bows, and then these little tin snowflakes. And I just really love all of these and I wanted to just place them on the tree just in spots where they'd be really visible because they are some of my favorite ornaments. And these were all new purchases this year actually. So I just wanted to show this cute clip of Holstein. He loves Christmas balls and he was trying to steal one. And these are just some balls that I'm just gonna add into the tree. I love these ones, they're just a nice cream color. I've had these for a while. So I did end up using more than what I just showed, but I just really like to add the balls into the back of the tree just to create more depth. So I just placed these cream and white balls all throughout the tree. So I wanted to make a tree topper this year and some years I will put an angel or a star um, on top of the tree but I thought it would be really pretty to try to make my own tree topper and I had a little bit more of this deco mesh from the tree that we used earlier. So I thought I would just use the rest of that and just kind of loop it together to create a bow. And then I also had some of this burlap mesh and we use this in the front entryway and I wanted to also combine some of that color into this tree. So I also just took some of that and started wrapping it around the silver mesh just to create um, some more volume because I did want it to be quite large because this tree is quite tall. So once I had it all bunched together, I just took some pipe cleaner and just tied it so it would stay in that shape um, when I place it on top of the tree. 
I also used a pipe cleaner to attach this to the tree and I just played around with it a little bit more until it was sitting just the way I wanted it to but I just really love the look of this and I think it's just really whimsical and pretty and towards the back it was a little bit bare because I didn't have any more of that silver mesh so I just added this really large poinsettia and I think it just looks really beautiful. So this is an overview of how the tree turned out. I think it looks really pretty and it just achieves that winter wonderland look that I was going for. And I know it is quite neutral, but that is the look that I really want it to achieve with this tree. And I think it just ties in with the rest of the room beautifully. And to me, it just really says rustic glam. So to dress up the bottom of the tree, I just took some boxes that I've accumulated over the years. And some of these are from Winners, um, Dollarama, Dollar Tree, just various spots. And I thought it would be really pretty to lay these on the bottom of the tree. And because I haven't started wrapping presents yet, I thought these would just look really pretty here in the meantime. But I did buy some wrapping paper to match um, this glam look I'm going for. So as I start putting presents under there I'll have to replace some of these boxes. In the corner here I have this IKEA display cabinet and I wanted to keep it simple I just added a wood box and then just the words Noel just because there is so much going on with the rest of the room I wanted to keep that minimal and then I thought it would be really pretty to add some garland on the staircase so I had this pretty um, garland from Canadian Tire that's also flocked which ties into the tree really nicely so I'm just fluffing that out and I just really love the look of this um, right by the tree. Unfortunately, I went to um, change the batteries and it just wasn't working. And this garland, I just bought it last year, so it's kind of a disappointment. I find sometimes the lights just don't last very long on them. I'm not sure why, because this was always inside. So I thought um, I would just use my twinkle lights and just string those on them. And I think this looks really beautiful and just adds that soft glow to the staircase. I had this Noel sign and I thought it would be really pretty just to hang this off the side of the garland and years prior I've put this in the tree or displayed it um, in various locations in the house but I thought that would be a really pretty spot for it. And then just to add a little bit more glam, I just had this garland um, that I got last year from Cozines and it was $20, which I thought was a really nice price just because it is such a glam piece and it's so full. So I just used the branches from the garland to tie this in. On this back wall here, I just wanted to add a little bit more of a Christmas touch. So I found this beautiful painting for $7 actually. So I just hung that and I think it just carries that winter wonderland theme up the top of the stairs. I really love how the space turned out and I really enjoy just sitting in this room and just being nice and cozy reading a book or when I'm cooking I can see this room so I'm really happy with how everything turned out I hope you enjoyed this video friends if you are new to my channel I would love it if you would subscribe and like this video and if you are one of my followers I'm so grateful for you and I love hearing where you're all from and just all your sweet comments they really make my day so thank you so much for all your support and I will be posting more videos this week I want to do my dining room and kitchen the upstairs loft so I have lots more inspiration coming your way so until the next video friends take care God bless